Mr Tier, the unemployment figures have shown yet another increase. Your position on that? Well, I'm not comfortable, but I do recognise that at this time of the year you would tend to see a slight increase in the unemployment levels. I concede that this year we've seen a bigger increase than I would normally expect to see, but um, it tends to be fairly consistent in because once we start the new year, then uh, there's a higher level of layoffs because there's seasonal jobs associated with the Christmas and New Year in hospitality and also in the retail sector as well. And the building industry tends to lay off staff at the end of the year, so we're now seeing that come through. On the more positive side, uh, there's also been a strong increase in the number of unfilled vacancies at the job centre as well. So on one hand we're seeing the number of unemployed go up, but on the other hand we're seeing the number of vacancies going up as well. So I think that over a period of time we will see the two starting to balance out. But these are the highest figures they've been for a long time. They're the highest figures they've been for a long time, but nevertheless uh, they've gone up from 2.3% of the economically active population, that's those people who actually want to participate in the workforce, to 2.5%. And um, that's still very, very, very good with other jurisdictions. And within that, um, there are some very, very strong points as well. Um, whilst uh, there, there are quite a few of our younger people unemployed, it's half the level of the UK and it's a fifth of the level of Spain. But surely the, the figure is going to keep going up. I mean, you, you're going to be doing a budget soon, which has also got implications for constraints on, on government workers, which is a massive amount of people in the Isle of Man. More people are going to be heading towards the dole queue, surely. Well, that's the balancing act that a Treasury Minister has to do. And I'll certainly take that into account, and I have taken this into account, in formulating my budget. Where will we be this time next year, do you think, with those figures? Double? No, I don't think it's going to double. No, um, I would expect that there might be a slight increase, but uh, I'd be very su surprised if there's a significant increase. I've been out around, I've spoken to an awful lot of people in industry and also the, the business representatives as well, and their view is that whilst there are difficult spots in the economy, the overall economy is performing well, and that is going to create more job opportunities there is inevitably going to be a certain amount of turnover in the employment market. Some of the sectors are now mature, which means that they're not creating jobs. We also have other sectors which are growing, and they are creating employment opportunities. But you've got all these jobs on the books as well that nobody wants those to take. I mean, what do you say about that? I, I say I'm sure that Mr Robert Shaw, the Minister for Social Care, will be dealing with that. And uh, the Chief Minister, in his statement when he put himself forward for the position, did make it abundantly clear that we would be having a look at the entire benefit system. And what started out at the end of the Second World War as a safety net has, over the last 60 years, developed into a nice, soft cushion. We have to deal with that.